Acting Nairobi County Governor Benson Mutura has made changes to the county executive committee in what he calls a reorganization of his administration. Mutura has reappointed members who had resigned during former Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko's tenure. Stephen Leto has more. Benson Mutura, the man running affairs at City Hall, at least for 60 days, has moved to reorganize his government. Janet Ouko, who had resigned during Mike Sonko's tenure, has been reinstated to serve the county in the same capacity as Education CEC. Miss Janet Ouko, who is here with us, resumed the office of the county executive committee member for education youth affairs, gender, sports and culture. Janet had been at loggerheads with former Governor Mike Sonko in a protracted battle with Sonko accusing Ouko of incompetence and corruption in her docket. Mutura has also reappointed Lucia Mulwa to serve in the agriculture and fisheries docket. The county also has new captains in the county secretary office as well as chief of staff. Miss Lucia Mulwa is reassigned to agriculture fisheries and livestock development sector. Darius Musumba is appointed as acting county secretary. Paul Mutungi is appointed as a chief, chief of staff. Brian Weke is the legal advisor in the office of the governor. Mutura's move triggering a legal debate on what he can and cannot do within the 60 days in acting capacity. Constitutional lawyer Bobby Mkangi says Mutura has powers equivalent to those of an elected governor and therefore he can change the cabinet to his preference. Governor Mutura actually, uh, by extending the life of this uh, county executive, as you said, is doing it uh, out of goodwill. But I don't think there's anything that stops him from reconstituting uh, his own county executive. The law stipulates that an acting governor does so for 60 days when an election is held with the acting governor handing over to the new governor. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.